When changing a top, uh, Villa Rowan Bot toilet seat, uh, the first thing to do is to remove the seat from the toilet. Uh, Villa Rowan Bot seats are made by a company called Presolet, so these processes will be exactly the same if you were changing a Presolet soft closed toilet. If they have the lift off, which the subway does in this case, you should be able to just remove the seat by lifting it off. That's a feature that's on these seats uh, for removing for soft uh, for cleaning around the toilet seat. These caps are the covers which are hiding the fixings for the toilet. As you'd notice on this toilet, there's no access underneath, so all the fixing is done through the top of the toilet. So the first thing to do is to remove these caps from the toilet to access the fixings. The next stage is to remove the caps so you can access the fittings. These are just pushed on, there's no fixing involved here. So it's just a matter of prising these off so they lift off. Normally a little screwdriver would do this or a small thin blade. But if you just ease around the edges Depending how long they've been on there, this may take a bit of time, just go gently with it, but eventually they will just lift off. We can now see the fixings that are holding the hinges into the toilet, and this also will adjust the seat alignment on the toilet. So to remove the hinge out of the toilet, you need a Phillips screwdriver or a little small spanner would also work but just in the screw and unscrew that from the toilet. And just loosen these off firstly. If you just need to adjust the seat, then by loosening these screws off, this plate will now turn and that will adjust the seat to the right position. Okay, that's the seat off of the toilet. You have the fixings in the toilet. Uh, these are press select called toggle zips. Um, you may need to remove them in this instance. This one has broken off inside, so that's gone. That needs to be replaced. This one's fairly fixed, but for the method of this, I'm gonna break this off and replace it. The clips that are underneath holding the seat will just fall off in the toilet, that's fine, they're, they're not used. We get a new set of uh, toggle zips with the, with the new seat. This is a, what they call a toggle zip. It's a universal fitting which allows you to fit a toilet seat where you don't have access underneath and you have to fit from the top. Uh, the principle of these is that this metal part on the bottom will sit underneath the ceramic once you push this through the hole and that will clamp onto the ceramic so it gives a firm fixing for the seat bolt to fit, fit to. So to fit these you've got to be very careful with these because they're designed and they're quite brittle so make sure that you're gentle with these because you don't want to break these during this at uh, this stage. But to fit them through the hole, because as you can see they won't fit, you just collapse them down, again be gentle with this, and pass them through the seat hole. That will spring open underneath and that's now got a solid fixing. So we'll do that on both sides. So just collapse it gently, push it through the hole, and let it spring back out again. We now want to tighten this solid into the seat. So this little ring here, there's ratchets down the side. So just simply by holding this, the top ring, and easing this, again, be gentle with this, we don't want to break here. But easing that ring 
down the ratchet until it sits nice and snugly on the ceramic. You can do that on both sides. Again, be gentle so it doesn't break. Just enough tension to enable you to push that down tightly on the ceramic. When you're happy that that's tight and the metal clamp that's underneath is tight on the underside of the toilet, you just snap these the excess off here because that's no longer needed. So to do that, just literally bend these over and they will snap off. And that's the fuck that toggles it now fitted to the toilet, ready to take the seat hinge. We we'll now start to fit the hinge or the new seat. Uh, I've got a little bit of excess on there, so I'm gonna just break that off. And the bolt will just pass through and it should screw quite comfortably into the metal bolt clip that's underneath the toilet. Again, with a Phillips screwdriver, just tighten these down. Don't put any pressure pushing down because you don't want to break the, the clips inside the toilet. Just be always gentle with the process. Now you don't want to tighten this right down to the toilet yet. We just want to still be able to have a little bit of movement on there because we need that movement to align the toilet seat. So the next thing is <coughs> we've got two holes on the underside of the toilet seat which these pegs will slot into. We're not looking at pushing this right down tight yet, we're just looking for the alignment on the toilet. So it's just a matter of getting that in position, lining that up, let the seat drop, look at the alignment on the front of the toilet and just get this so it's all sitting nice and in the right position. You can now tighten these a little bit further. I tend to do this in stages and keep checking it as you're doing it. It's very easy for these hinges to just slip slightly out of position and then you lose your alignment on the toilet. Okay, that looks pretty good. At this point, it's probably easier to use a spanner to tighten these because it's getting harder to put the um, Phillips screwdriver into position. So now I tend to use the spanner to tighten the bolts finally. So now just tighten down these bolts. Again, while you're doing this, just keep checking the alignment of the seat and make sure that you're happy that it's sitting correctly on the toilet. Now, one tip while you're doing this, if you've got the seat with the soft close barrels on there, it's important that you have these pushing pressure outwards. If you have these sitting too far inwards you'll actually pull these cylinders out of the toilet and you'll lose the soft close mechanism so there shouldn't be hardly any gap either side here uh, when you're fitting the toilet and make sure that they're nice and tight into the toilet each of these cylinders one side will do the bottom will be the soft close mechanism for the bottom flap and the other for the top flap so it's quite easy for one of these to slip out and you just lose that soft close mechanism. Okay I'm happy with that, that's nice and tight now onto the toilet, the alignment's all okay so the final thing is just to put the cover caps back on. So I'm just going to remove the seat Pop the caps back on and they just drop into position and cover it up all neatly. Seat back on now and that's it. 